was born and raised here in New York City, in Manhattan. My uncle is a photographer and collage artist extraordinaire. So when I was young, my uncle was living in our apartment, and I would come home from school at the end of the day, and he and his cohorts would be sitting in the living room talking about all kinds of things, Africa and art and Studio 54 and, and actually making art on the living room floor. He taught me how to use a quill pen and ink, and then he taught me very much about how um, about things to do and things not to do. Part of it was an explanation from a very early age that you could be an artist and that it was a possible path for your life. Most people tell you the opposite. They say, oh, no, don't do it. You'll go broke and, and it's impossible to do. And I was told exactly the opposite, which is that it's a worthwhile pursuit. I discovered oil painting in Calcutta. I had my bags stolen on a train and I needed to uh, go buy some new quill pens and ink and uh, etc. And there was a national strike, and I was walking through the streets of Calcutta with tens of thousands of extremely angry Bengalis who were chanting all sorts of things in Bengali that I didn't understand. And I came out of this mass flow of humanity into uh, a 19th century art supply store that was empty of patrons, but full of paints and pigments and oils and medium. And all of the shelves were cobwebbed, etc. And there was a smell when I walked in the door of musty oil paint, and it just grabbed me, and it's held me ever since. I'll never forget that moment. I'll never forget that smell, and at that point, I dedicated myself completely to uh, going down the path of being an oil painter.